Are you tired of looking at Ridley? This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by... Anything wrong, even though someone might say you're, you're doing something illegal, you know? NHLiberty.org Once you're able to move past that fear and, uh, you know, we're support each other, you know, those kind of things. I think ideas are the best way to, to share, to make that happen, to make that the norm. So um, as we remove the fear and then, you know, people realize uh, better ways to provide this good or service of safety, then we'll uh, erode the police state. So it's one mind at a time. So what is your definition of the police state? I mean, me personally, you know, to try to set a definition like the police state, what we have today is a police state. A certain number of people will say, yes, I agree or I disagree, as compared to maybe a decade ago or whatever. So then at what point do we say that a police state was reached? I would say any time you allow for a double standard to exist, to say me and my group of friends have a right to steal your money to then protect you, any time you set up that double standard, the perverse incentives are there for that institution to never, never to provide justice and to never be accountable. And so I, I, I believe that once we live in an environment where everyone realizes they govern themselves and we police each other and there's no such things as sovereign immunity and all these other legal fictions, then, you know, the police state will be gone. Like, yeah, to me, the police state is, I mean, it's like they've got the big words in bold print and they've like got a few, the small print. And it's like police of the state is what it is. And so like when the police state is once these the service of protection, which is what we're talking about here, is the service that folks can provide of protection uh, since it's monopolized and by the government, then it's a police state for the government, essentially. And so they're no longer concerned with providing the service of protecting people, but the, actually the highest payer right now, which is the only payer, the government. And so that's what I define a police state as. I don't know if anybody else has any questions. I think that'd be a good way to start if you guys are good with yeah, it. If anyone has some questions, then we probably roll in. Oh, go ahead. Uh, do you see an increase in the number of people getting victimized by the police state actually helping raise awareness? Because it seems to be a lot more people have stories like that, like I wasn't doing anything in the beat the car out of me. You see people accidentally sort of joining the cause yeah. because the police make them join the cause. Yeah, I think they're the bigger, our, our biggest recruits, you know, and uh, I wish that we didn't have these movements, but. At the same time, like I said, I mean, I remember a point where it was just like cop watch, and now we have these other groups that are doing the same thing. I mean, we're out there, we're trying to make a situation better. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I, I, the best volunteers that we've had have been the ones who've been victimized by the police, and they're, they're the ones who are most thankful that, that there are groups like this out there, uh, because otherwise it's just them against society. They, they think that because they've been arrested, everyone assumes that they're guilty, and sadly, that's the way that it is. Um, but once they realize that there are groups out there willing to fight, they become our our best advocates, our best uh, supporters. I also think that um, the proliferation of new technologies has helped expose a lot of the police abuse, and I think that because the police uh, have grown so much, they're running out of homeless people and black people and Hispanic people to to go after, and now they're going after uh, middle-class, rich, white people as well. And Will Grigg wrote a great essay. Um, they said, you know, we're all niggers now. And his point was, it's not just black people who are getting um, attacked anymore. And in a way, that is beneficial, because when it was a tiny subset of the population, it's really easy for a lot of people to say, well, that's not my problem. Yeah, I think, uh, I don't know if I misunderstood Larkin's question or not, but I... I have an experience of like being in jail with victimless crime people who actually believe they belong in jail. And so I, I've also been surprised that police brutality and lack of accountability has been a problem ever since policing has started. And so, you know, there's been a lot of folks who have been victimized. And I, I just sometimes find it surprising that something like the things that we're all involved with up here haven't been started sooner or that they, they aren't more active. So there are times where I hear people who talk to me about interactions they've had with the police and they just chalk it up to how life is or that's what the police do. New Hampshire's State House. 
among the least bad governing institutions on earth. But even here, legislators plot theft and destruction. However, they don't do it without opposition. The New Hampshire Liberty Alliance stands in their path and stands ready to train you in the ways of the Citizen Freedom Lobby. Visit NHLiberty.org to get involved.